Welcome back. Joining us this morning is Kyle Berkey, Director of Behavioral Health Ambulatory Services for OSF Healthcare, here to talk to us about New Year's resolutions. Thank you so much for joining us, Kyle. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so as we know, a resolution is pretty much a commitment to do or not to do something in the upcoming year. So some people stick to them, some people don't. What are some of the most recent statistics of New Year's resolutions? Yeah, I think we've all heard the statistics to some effect, and, and they can be pretty disheartening. Uh, over 50% of individuals that do set a New Year's resolution, they let that resolution go within 30 days. Mm. Uh, but I am hoping that in, in giving some tips today, that maybe we can come up with ideas that will be a little bit more likely that we stick to those things. Okay, and what are some of those ideas that you referenced to help people stick to them? Are they new habits? Are there new tendencies they need to pick up? What can really help someone really? Yeah, so I, I think historically, uh, about half of New Year's resolutions have to do with physical health in some form. Mm -hmm. uh, eating healthier, exercising more, um, uh, those kind of uh, activities. And, and I think while those are great, I think we might get more bang for our buck if we focused on a couple of other things instead. So things like um, taking time for self-care. Even a few minutes a, a day can go a long way, whether it's reading a good book, uh, taking time uh, uh, to take a bath or uh, have a fire in the fireplace. Little things like that can, can go a long way for our, our mental and emotional health. Um, number two uh, probably would be uh, limiting screen time. I, I think that is a very important one. Tricky um, one. Very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> especially social media is really yes. where we have the most difficulty um, uh, if we can limit that screen time we can have a much better outcome uh, screen mm. time is anxiety producing depression uh, invoking uh, and then number three is making a priority of sleep so having consistent sleep avoiding caffeine and alcohol and sugary drinks in the evenings um, making sure uh, that we do a, a really good job focusing on sleep making that a priority can go a long way with our behavioral health as well Nice. So resolutions can sometimes be confused with goals. So would you consider them more of an actual resolution or would it be better to consider it a goal, a long term? You know, I really like both terms. So mm -hmm. the term resolution comes from that word resolute, which means being determined uh, or unwavering. And I think that's a great concept for the mindset that we want to have nice. when we're setting these. However, I think goal has a better um, indication for the process that we should be taking mm -hmm. making sure that we are sticking to smart goals realistic goals that are time sensitive and and are uh, achievable nice well thank you so much for taking the time to stick with us i know i haven't necessarily figured out what my new year's resolution is but i do have quite a few goals going into 2013 and hopefully you guys can use some of the advice that kyle burker offered us today and we'll be right back after this thank you so much for joining us thank you